Hi all. Today we can see interference in pin film. Interference is a very interesting phenomenon in optics. It is the modification of the light energy when two or more light waves superimpose each other. The basis you have studied already in 12th standard. Today we can see the details of interference in thin film. What is a thin film? A thin film is an optical medium of thickness of the order of one wavelength of light. A film of thickness 0.5 to 10 micrometer we can consider as a thin film. Consider a thin film of thickness T and refractive index mu. Let a ray of light AB is incident on the top surface of the film. A part of it is get reflected along BC and other part is refracted along BF. At the point F, it again undergo reflection and refraction. At the point D, one part get transmitted along D and other part is reflected into the film. So these two reflected rays, the first reflected ray from the top surface and the bottom surface uh, of the film get overlap each other and they can produce the interference. A small part of the light is continuously getting uh, reflected within the film. At each point of reflection, the intensity of light and hence the amplitude is divided. So this type of interference produced in thin film is also known as division of amplitude. Whereas the in Young's double slit experiment, the interference produced is due to the division of wavefront. So interference in thin film is due to the division of amplitude. So here we are discussing the interference producer due to the superposition of light B, C and D, E. So these are two reflected rays. That means we are here discussing the reflected system. Now we can see the path difference between the two reflector rays B, C and D, E. That is the optical path difference between reflected rays along BC and the second ray undergone the path BFDE. So along BFDE is the extra path difference traveled by the second ray is BF plus FD and the extra path difference by the first ray is BH. So the total path difference will be path BF plus BFD in film minus path BH in Air. Here we are considering the optical path difference and this path is in film. So we have to consider the refractive index of this film also. So actually this path will be the refractive index times of BF plus FD minus BH in air. Air refractive index is 1. So we can directly write here as BH. Now we can find out these distances BF, FD, BH. For that consider all the angles. This is the angle of incidence I. The angle of incidence and angle of reflection are same. So this angle also I. And here this is angle of refraction R. So this angle also R. And here this is the reflected ray at the point F. So this angle will be R. This angle will be 90 minus I. So this angle is 90, again this angle will be I. So first we can consider the distance BF plus FD. So BF is this distance and FD is this. So we can consider the triangle BFD. And in this triangle, angle BFG is equal to angle GFD. That means this is a symmetrical triangle. Therefore, this BF will be equal to FD. So we can write here this is equal to 2 times BF. BF is equal to FT. So this is equal to 2 times BF. So 2 mu BF minus BH. So what we have to find out here is BF and BH. Let it be equation number 1. To find this BF we can consider the triangle BFG. So in the triangle BFG, BF is the hypotenuse. So we can take the uh, cos R here. So cos R is equal to adjacent side that is FG divided by BF. What is this FG? FG is the thickness of the film. So that is T by BF. Therefore BF is equal to T by cos R.
So we got Bf is equal to T by cos R. Write it as equation number 2. Now we want to find out the side BH. To find this uh, BH, consider the triangle BHD. In this triangle, this angle is I. So BH is the opposite side of this angle. So we can find the sine I. So sine I is equal to BH divided by hypotenuse here is BD. Since this BFG and the GFT are symmetrical triangles, this BG is equal to GD. So we can write this BD as 2 times BG. So on cross multiplying, BH is equal to 2BG sin I. Now how can we find out this BG? To find out this BG, we can use the triangle BFG. Again in the triangle BFG, what is this tan R? Tan R is equal to opposite side BG divided by uh, adjacent side GF. GF is the thickness of this film. So BG by T. That is BG is equal to T tan R. So 2 into T tan R sin I. So now we go to the BH also. So BH is equal to 2 T tan R sin I. I. This is equation number 3. Now we can substitute this equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1. So delta is equal to 2 mu BF is T by cos R minus BH is 2 T tan R sin I. For this sin I we can apply Snell's law. What is Snell's law? That is refractive index mu is equal to sin I divided by sin R. Therefore this sin I is equal to mu sin R. So we can substitute the mu sin R instead of this sin I. So delta is equal to 2 mu T by cos R minus 2 T tan R is sin R by cos R and sin I is mu sin R. Now we can take the common terms outside that is here 2 mu 2 by cos R. Here also we have 2 mu T by cos R. So 2 mu T by cos R and here 1 minus sin R sin R sin square R. Now what is this 1 minus sin square r that is cos square r. So that 1 cos r and this cos r will cancel. So we will get that path difference delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r. So the path difference delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r. Here a correction is required in this expression because of the phase change. Why the phase change occurs? If the reflection occurs at the rarer to denser boundary, that corresponds to a phase change of pi. That phase change of pi corresponds to a path difference of lambda by 2. That is, if the light ray is incident like this, this is air medium, suppose it is water, then the reflected ray will be like this. So, it corresponds to a phase change of pi. This phase change of pi means that it corresponds to a path difference of lambda by 2. So, here we have to uh, consider that path difference correction in this four expression. And the corrected path difference, we can write it as 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2. Here this lambda by 2 term is due to the phase change of pi at the rarer to denser boundary. Now we can see the condition for constructive and destructive interference. Constructive interference is the condition for brightness and destructive interference is the condition for darkness. That is maxima and minima condition. For the constructive interference to occur, the path difference must be an integral multiple of lambda. So here the path difference delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 must be an integral multiple of wavelength lambda. So on rearranging this we will get 2 mu t cos r is equal to m plus 1 by 2 lambda. 2m plus 1 lambda by 2. 2 
So two mu t cos r equal to two m plus one lambda by two is the condition for constructive interference at a point. So if the brightness to be exhibit at a one point, two mu t cos r must be equal to two m plus one lambda by two. Now for the destructive interference to occur, the path difference must be an odd multiple of lambda by two. That is here the path difference two mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 is equal to 2 m minus 1 lambda by 2. So, on rearranging 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 m minus 1 plus 1 into lambda by 2 or this minus 1 plus 1 will cancel, 2 2 will cancel. So, we will get 2 mu t cos r is equal to m lambda. So, this is the condition for destructive interference to occur. So, for constructive interference 2 mu t cos r equal to 2 m plus 1 lambda by 2 and for destructive interference 2 mu t cos r is equal to m lambda. So, this is the theory of interference in thin film. Thin film means a film of uniform thickness of the order of 0.5 to 10 micrometer. When the light ray is incident on it, a part get reflected and refracted and a part is continuously undergoing reflection within the film. Here the amplitude is dividing at every point. So, we can say it has division of amplitude. So, we are considering the first two reflected rays only because after the two reflection, the amplitude and intensity is diminishing. So, here we are finding the path difference of this BC and DE. Then we are getting the path difference delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r. At the point B, the reflection occurs at the rarer to denser boundary. So, there is a phase change of pi and there is a correction due to that. That is lambda by 2. So, that uh, final path difference delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2. If this path difference is an integral multiple of wavelength lambda, constructive interference will occur and if it is an odd multiple of lambda by 2, destructive interference will occur. So, on a substituting in that condition, we will get the condition for constructive interference are 2 mu t cos r equal to 2 m plus 1 lambda by 2 and 2 mu t cos r is equal to m lambda for the destructive interference. Now, we can consider the transmitter system. When the light rays are transmitted, these two transmitter rays can also overlap each other and can produce interference pattern. So, similarly, we can find out the path difference between these two rays and then we will get the path difference as delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r. But here the reflection occurs at the boundary of film to air that is not from the uh, rarer to denser boundary it is from the denser to rarer boundary. So there will be no phase change for this transmitted rays. Hence, there will be no correction due to this path difference lambda by 2. So, the total path difference will be delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r only in the transmitted system. So, in transmitted system, the condition for brightness will be path difference equal to m lambda that is 2 mu t cos r equal to m lambda and condition for darkness will be 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 m plus 1 lambda by 2. So, in transmitted system, the condition for brightness is path difference must be an integral multiple of wavelength lambda. So, 2 mu t cos r is equal to m lambda and condition for darkness is 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 m minus 1 lambda by 2. That is the condition for brightness in the reflected system become the condition for darkness in the transmitter system and condition for darkness in reflected system become the condition for brightness in transmitter system. Or we can say that the reflected system and transmitter system are complementary to each other. That means the colors which are bright in the reflected system become dark in the transmitter system. So if we are using white light instead of single color we can see various colors. So let in the reflected system at to one point uh, for blue color this two mu t cos r obeys m lambda equation then in the reflected system that blue color will be absent but if we look in the transmitted system that blue color will be present so that means the reflected and the transmitted system will be complementary to each other the colors which are present in the reflected system will be absent in the uh, transmitter system and vice versa that is interference in reflected and transmitted 
transmitter system are complementary to each other. The visibility of interference pattern is strong in the reflected system in comparison with the transmitter system. Because in transmitter system, one ray is transmitting without undergoing any reflection. But the second ray is undergoing multiple ref uh, reflection. Therefore, there is a large difference between the amplitude of these two rays. Therefore, the intensity will diminish and the interference pattern produced in the transmitter system will be less in comparison with the reflected system. If you are considering an excessively thin film, it will appear bright or dark in reflected system. An excessively thin film means the thickness is of the order of zero. So what will be the total path difference? So total path difference delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda 2 becomes equal to minus lambda by 2. That is this thickness is approximately equal to 0. That is the magnitude of path difference is an odd multiple of lambda by 2. That is the condition for darkness. Therefore we can say that an excessive thin film appears dark in the reflected system. So that's all about the theory of interference in thin film. In the case of an oil film or soft film, we are using this theory. So in the next video, we can see the problems based on this interference in thin film.